Hi, my loves. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica Alexandria, the head witch of Bahati Life Apothecary. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today, we're going to be talking about love spells, love spell oils, intention oils, conjure oils. One that I'll be using today is my personal love spell blend that you can find in the apothecary that I've used for myself multiple times, but also I use this for attraction and for beauty and money and abundance, even though I have a specific money and abundance oil, but this is one of the oils that I use every day on my body. But you guys can make your own blends, and I'm sure many of you guys do, but if you don't, it's available for you in my shop. But anyways, I really wanted to come on here and talk about the love spell and something that I've been noticing lately. and. To help you guys kind of like nudge you along your path or maybe open the floor up for discussion and it's how you use your love spell and a way that you use your love spell and something that it is that I've seen for my clients and throughout history with how love spells work when you when we're working with oils and candles when you're using the oils to anoint the candle now I'm really open to hearing you guys' perspective, but because of a conversation that I had earlier this morning, I felt inspired to come on here and talk and to share my perspective and share my experience on working with love spells, and then also to help guide you if you have any questions, or if you're wondering, or if you're curious, or if you have conflicting feelings about using love spells in regards to one person, or enchanting one person, and, the, and what can happen, and um, making sure that what you are actually want is matching the energy that, that you're putting out there as far as your what it is that you're calling in and the thing is is that the timing of this I think is per perfect with Venus currently moving through the sign of Libra but also she's retrograde now <clears throat> this is creating a lot of breakdowns when it comes to love relationships friendships money those types of things and that's why I wanted to talk about the love spell in general because a lot of these dynamics these love relationships or the ability to attract love and to give love and to ability to attract energy and receive energy and to give it are being questioned and they're kind of in flux right now so this is when we see an increase in people asking for love spells or asking for money and abundance oils because we're starting to see this reworking and there's nothing wrong with it. Everything happens for a reason with divine timing and you guys already know and I talked about this in my video recent, my recent video that I just posted <clears throat> about divine timing and why it's really important to watch the, what's going on in the cosmos in order to get an idea of what is <clears throat> divinely happening, cosmically happening and how we're being impacted and how we're being influenced. So. When you are working with the love spell and when you're working with your love oil, it's really important that if there is someone specific that it is that you are um, struggling with right now or that you wanted to pull in, I really want to challenge you that at least during Venus retrograde that you don't, when you're working with the oil, that you don't focus exclusively on that one person, but that you just think about and visualize and keep your mind open and your perspective open and your energy open to the perfect love relationship as the current relationship dynamic is being changed and reworked and retweaked. Now, this kind of sounds counterintuitive for some people because they'll be like, well, I want one specific person or there's one person that I have a crush on, there's one person that I like, or I've been in a relationship with this person for 10 years. I can hear some of you guys thinking like, why would I set an intention for new love or open the, the doors op the, open the doors up for new love to come in, even if it's something that I want, if it's this person specifically. Well, the reason why this is, is because when you set the intention, especially if there's already a connection between you and that person, a natural connection, a natural chemistry, when you set the intent and you work your magic using your oils on your candle or using your oil um, on a letter, like when you use it to, to anoint a letter or you anoint your wallet or anoint your heart or anoint your, your being or your home or whatever the case is, when you use that oil and you are drawing into your life the, the love that you want, the love that you deserve, and the love that it is that you're looking for, the feelings that it is that you're looking for, the romance, then if that person truly is it, they will respond to it and re in some way their energy kind of rearranges in order to match your vibe because that's the vibe that you're putting out there and that's what it is that you're asking for and that's what it is that you're calling for. Now what I've noticed is that when we have planets that are retrograde or when there's a lot of conflicting energy, meaning like maybe there's been fighting, maybe there's been tension, maybe there's been cheating or scandals like that, 
and you work your oil and you focus it on the one person, yes, it does draw them in, but for the most like three weeks, maybe a little longer, and they'll come in, but at some point, because their energy was pulled in specifically, that energy gets drained, and that person, nine times out of 10, I shit you not, I mean, it's more often that this will happen than it won't. That person will then pull back and retract because their energy was pulled in, and there always has to be a balance. That's just how energy works, especially when we're working with magic and alchemy. So what you'll see is you'll see the love spell working. You'll see this person come in, but it'll be for a short amount of time, a short period before they pull back and they retract and they need some time for themselves. Versus if you are using your love spell in order to bring out the vibe of love, in order to attract love into your life, the type of love that is that you want to receive, you're putting that vibe out there that you're ready, that you're present, that this is what you want. And because there's a cord with, between you and that person, or maybe even potentially a new person who actually matches the vibration better than the one that you're hyper-focused on, then that person is called in rather than being dragged in. Now, I hope that that makes sense. Now, I know that there's some witches who will totally disagree with me, but I really want to challenge you guys on that perspective and challenge you on your own history, and let's keep this honest. You know, I don't believe in competition. I don't believe in, you know, fighting for the sake of fighting or disagreeing for the sake of disagreeing, but let's keep this, let's all work together. We all have different gifts. We all have different experiences. Let's all work together in order to learn from each other, in order to share each other's experiences. So if you do disagree with me on that, which I'm sure that there will be people who will disagree with me, it is what it is. Not everybody does this uh, magic the same way. But let's have an honest assessment of what happened when you pull that person in. Did they inevitably, three weeks, four weeks, six weeks, whatever, end up pulling back after coming in forward or talking about your feelings or texting or whatever, did they essentially end up pulling back or pooping out later after the love spell was specifically targeted towards them? And if that's if that happened, did you also put out a love spell just in general? Did that person then come in naturally again and try for like a second or a third time? Or did you also attract in to your life a totally separate relationship? Now, you guys... You probably don't want to hear me talk about my love life or anything like that. But if you look at my astrology chart, my natal chart, you can see that before I'm 30, that there are a series of relationships that I would have to have experienced, especially as an old soul, especially with karma that's connected to my spirit, my being, that there are a set of relationships that I would have to have gone through in order for me to better learn about myself to prepare for my lifelong relationship my true love, you know, marriage, et cetera, et cetera. That's the way that my chart is set up. And that's not something that I was going to ever fight. It was something that I would respect. But more than that, when I started my journey with dating, I was very highly spiritual and I sat with my spirit and my guides and they specifically told me that there were some things that, some battles, meaning like things that I had to, like, um, inner demons that I had to confront, that I had to learn and grow through that would only express themselves in my relationships, the people that it was that I was dating. And I had to pass those lessons and then let those relationships go and then you know take on the next relationship and let that go until I was 30. And then after I learned those lessons, the karmic cycle, cycle would be complete and then I would be free to move forward and have more a lasting relationship, a lasting bond, true love, marriage, etc. But not before 30 years old. So if I knew that and I respected that, then I listened to that and I would follow the advice and every single time I would work my oil and set the intention for that and then go through those lessons release them when it was time to be released, open the door up again for the next relationship after I took time to think about what it was, was the next lesson that I needed to experience. I crossed all those things off my checklist and now I'm where I'm at right now. So the reason why I'm saying all of that is to say that I do have experience with this. Um, yes, I'm young. Yes, I know I look young, but it's not only experience with myself, but it's experience with working these oils for my friends, working these oils for my family, working these oils for my clients, which I'm not open to doing right now, sorry, but maybe sometime in the future. And then also uh, working these things for, you know, just experiments, you know, for, but anyways. So I hope that, that makes sense. Again, if you need a love spell, it's in my shop. This is my personal blend that I've been using before I even put a label on it. It was just something that I did my own personal research on. 
uh, while I was growing up and it's also something that vibes with me and it's not a typical love spell but I feel like it's very powerful it's very impactful it's never failed so if you want that it's for you in the shop I know many of you guys make your own love spells at home I can share a traditional love spell that most people use that I think I I can support it. I can see it supporting, but the the way that I make my love spells a little different with the herbs and the intent and the oils that it is that I use within the bottle. But that's something that I'm never going to share. But I am open to sharing a general love spell oil, intent oil in general that I would be more than happy to put on my YouTube channel if you'd like to see that. Then give me a thumbs up. Make sure that you're subscribed to the YouTube channel. Sorry, I'm rushing through this, but I have something that I have to go to in like less than 30 minutes, and I'm still not dressed. Well, for the most part. So I hope that you guys are having a wonderful day. I love you so much, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.